Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my ReactJS course. In this video, we will try to see how to debug the ReactJS application. Up to now, in the previous videos, we have seen we are going on writing the code and we are solving the errors that are shown in the console only. So, if, if any console errors are coming, we are going on solving the, solving the issues. For example, if you are getting any logical error or anything, how we can debug the code? So, if you are getting unexpected predictable uh, response, for example, if you are writing any post one here, it is not getting updated so then then in order to update this data update update these details how we can do let's try to see in this video now if you try to see here first is first what we can do is the first errors what we can solve is so directly we can use it here using the console so here we are getting two warnings that is nothing but what we can say is source components post post.js so line number 105 it is it is telling that Post is assigned a value but never used. So in the let's go to the post.js one not file line. So post.js one not file line. Okay, here you will be able to see that here we are using the post variable but we are not using it anywhere. Okay, so this is one type of warning. So this is the one type of ESLint warning. It is telling that you have assigned a variable but you are not using it anywhere. So this is one type of error. So if you want means you can remove this code. Why? Because we are getting the data get post. But we have written a separate method top so that is the reason we are using this variable and we are not using we are we are not using it anywhere okay like this we can solve it for example if I, we have already seen in the previous case, if i use like this class if i try to refresh this page you will get an error here so we will be able to get an error so something like we are using some class okay so here we are not getting this so that is the reason we are not using this data so for example in the get post if you are trying to write so where is our get post method here we will be having i think the get post method yeah in this get post method we are writing this code right so here's where we can write this one so i can use this class let's try to use here class and if we try to refresh this page yeah here we are able to get an error so that is telling that valid term property class did you mean class name so we will be able to see that single post somewhere in the line chunk it is showing so if we go deeper and deeper <coughs> so we will be able to understand so now here we are not able to understand this all the code so it is to it is telling that uh, something related to the compiled code so one thing how we can find this type of address is so okay we need to use the class name so we can search directly like this and we can use it okay some errors will be there which we are not able to, which we cannot be able to find so those type of errors how we can solve is so one thing is so if you want to debug the code so if i am updating here okay if you am updating here what is the what is the thing it is going on if you want to see the how the code is executing so you can see one method is nothing but what we can say is you can go to the sources and here you will be able to see the code okay so here in the static js you can go inside the static js and here you will be able to see the project every uh, the complete project you will be able to see here in the source the components you will be able to see each and everything so here you can go to the posts and you can open this post.js so this is the post.js file so if you want to keep the debugger you can you can directly keep the debugger here so if i try to refresh this page okay so the debugger will exist like that only so if you open yeah the debugger will exist like that only and now if i try to write this code see the debugger came and stopped here so here the e is a synthetic event i already told you it is not a basic event the react j synthetic event this one and id so now here you will be able to stop here so you will be able to see the post index you will be able to having the post index and you can go step by step as you already know how to play with the debugger in the chrome dev tools so like this we can take the code so now if you want to see the code means for example now uh, we can directly go to the render method okay here this is the render method right and i can i can directly use the method i can use directly here like this and if i try to refresh this page okay so here you will be able to see here we are able to get the data now if i try to refresh here we will be able to fire an event here okay so here it is it is passed in the debugger if you try to see here it will be open okay here it is open see so like this we can debug the data and another thing if you want to play with the state so we are having the state for each and every component right so for the post.js component we are having the state so we need to check we need to check whether the 
uh, state how the state is getting updated and all those things so you can you can install a tool that is nothing but the react developer tools so here you can install something like react developer tools here you will be able to have this react developer tools so as i have already installed you can go to the extension and you can install it so react developer tools after installing this one if you refresh this page so here in the options you will be able to see the components okay so the here you will be able to see the list of all the components that are available in this page okay here we are having three single post component which are present in the post component okay and this post in this post component itself we are having the add post dialog and everything we are having it here this app is the main component okay now each and every for example if i click on the post you will be able to see the state data okay so the complete state available in that component you will be able to see, it is visible here if i make it as true okay if i make it as true you will be able to see the show count we have used this for conditional rendering we have used this one this state variable okay so like if you keep false you can directly update the state here directly okay so if i add modified here automatically here the title also get got modified so this is how we can change the state uh, data directly in this developer tools and also you can also see this where from where it is this post component has been rendered so it is rendered from the app if you go to the single page single post and here you can see that app is rendered by post and post is and the and the single post is rendered by the post you'll be able to see the hierarchy of the rendering so how the rendering of the, how the parents has been created so this is how we can see the data if you want to if you want to log this in this one in the console you can go you can click on this one automatically what you can see is so the single post has been logged into the console so here you can you can use this one in the console and you'll be able to debug this one so if i want to store it in a global variable you can also store it as a global variable so this is how you can make use of this react developer tools so uh, like this so now if you will be able to so you can you, you can be able to inspect the matching dom element where is this dom element present okay so like this also you can go directly to this component also so so that in the dom so where is this component dom present you can also directly go here so the source file also so where is this so where from where this component has been rendered you can be able to see this post.js so everything you can be able to see here the props what are the props it is having you can be able to see and here the post we are having the state and the props and also rendered by we are able to see okay so this is how we will be debugging the code in the react js so we will be having just like the vue.js view developer tools and the angular so we will be having the react developer tools also it is a nice way to debug provides us a nice way to debug the uh, react js application okay so one method is using the source maps like this directly we can go to the sources and we can directly debug the data or otherwise if you want to update the state and if you want to check the uh, state updation how it is performing so if you are not able to see the state that is up not updating properly means you can go to the react developer tools and you can modify the state also okay this is how we will be debugging the code in the react js if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that i will be posting more and more front end development courses thank you